All right, gang, we're going to do a little review of iced guest flows. All right. So remember, we're talking about uh, the centralized policy management of identity services engine. Here's the idea. We're going to go through a scenario together. So what I'd like for you to do is pause the video and read through the scenario and answers. Come up with your best justification for the right answer. Unpause. and We'll go through it together. OK. So here's the scenario that we see right here in front of us. You want to allow various guests to have access to your wireless network. OK, so we're going to have a wireless access point. We're going to have the uh, controllers. And in the background there, in this environment, we're also going to have Identity Services Engine, ICE. Right. So this is going to be essentially our workflow that we're dealing with. So the question is, when we have this scenario, all right, what's it going to look like? Well, you want it where the user is going to be faced with a web portal, all right? And when they open up this, so they attempt to access the wireless network. When they do that, they their browser is directed to a web portal. In that web portal, they've got forms to fill out, all right? They're filling out their first name, their last name, their email address, uh, maybe a requested password, right? All sorts of things like that. And when they fill that information out and submit it, Though we don't want it to automatically generate an account. Instead, that information, which is really being managed over here in the ICE server, uh, is going to be held there waiting for our security personnel. All right, so we got over here this guy, and he's security personnel, so he's got a hat. And this guy is going to go on, and he's going to see this portal, and he's going to see this account waiting to be activated. And he's going to review the information on there and then approve it. At that point, now the user can actually utilize this logon and gain access to the network, probably uh, access to internet support, possibly access to some uh, reserved areas of the network. All right, so this is what it looks like. So then the question is, which of those looks like, which of these guest flows looks like with the scenario we just described? Would that be Hotspot? Mm, no. Hotspot, remember, looks like this. The client accesses the uh, access point, which accesses wireless LAN controller, which is redirecting to ICE. Ice, ice, baby. There we go. And uh, in that scenario, what happens? They just get maybe a splash screen saying, welcome to the network, and in they go. There's no user accounts associated with a hotspot guest flow configuration. It's just, welcome to the network. So it's not that. Would this be self-service? Hmm. Well, self-service would have the user be presented with an ICE-driven form that they would fill out. But the idea of a completely self-service environment is that the user is essentially building their account and creating it on the fly. And when they're done, they will have immediate access to whatever network um, the guest network has been granted access to. So the self-service does not involve any sponsors, any, any other administration to be a part of this. So it's not completely self-service. Let me jump to the bottom one. Is it going to be sponsored? Well, remember, with a sponsored environment, You've got uh, a sponsor, let's say it was this security admin, completely going through the whole process of connecting to the ICE guest uh, sponsor portal, filling out a form for a particular guest user and submitting it. In other words, the end user who wants to use this network, the guest, has no initial form to fill out in a sponsored configuration. So it's not that because I want the user to do some of the legwork. So that leaves us with the sweet spot right here, the self-service sponsor approved. That means the first part is driven by the guest to fill out the form. The second part is handled by the sponsor to approve that already created form, assuming that they want to approve it, and then giving the uh, initial password to that user via email, text, printout, whatever format works best for that environment. But uh, again, it's pending approval, and it's the sponsor that has to do the handoff to that guest at the end. All right. Great work. Thanks for working through this question with me.